Welcome to IMEC Regional 2021 Podcasts. The show is dedicated to present research results of Polish scientists as authors or co-authors of papers presented during the Regional Conference of European Marketing Academy. The Regional Conferences are aimed to attract researchers interested in marketing issues, in changing and growing markets, and regarding a regional perspective. The project has been supported by the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange under the program Welcome to Poland. My guest uh, is Dr. Marcin Avdziej, co-author of paper presented at IMAC Regional 2021 conference under the title Influence of Haptic Feedback on the Perception of Product Placement in a Virtual Reality Simulation. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for uh, being here. And uh, of course, I would like to start uh, uh, with the main idea of your paper. So where did you get the idea for study on product placement in virtual reality? Hello, Yolanta. Hello, everybody. Um, the, probably the most important reason why we studied this uh, is the popularity of product placement, which is maybe not the most uh, uh, modern or communication technique, but uh, recently because of the changes in the media consumption, um worldwide this uh, this type of marketing activity uh is uh, extremely popular and becomes uh, very popular nowadays so more and more advertisers get into product placement as you can observe for example uh it's very popular on streaming platforms it's uh, in movies in many uh, in videos games. Yeah. in games yes in games in music videos you can find it even in uh, lyrics of some uh, some you know popular uh, popular you know, songs but uh, uh, and this is the way, you know, to avoid or maybe, you know, to uh, make up for the problems uh, with mass communication like advertising when you have very fragmented audiences uh, nowadays. And it's very difficult to plan plan your media strategy. So many companies uh, decide to go into product placement. On the other hand, we've got also a growing uh, interest in this uh, very modern communication technologies like uh, virtual reality or augmented reality which uh, are of much interest to advertisers and uh, um, and company, companies in general. Uh, so we wanted to uh, investigate how these two uh, relatively modern aspects of activities and te- technology and product placement, how they, how they simply match. And also um, another issue is that uh, the technology, especially virtual reality, d- d- develops pretty fast. It's maybe not the most popular technology, you know, from the point of view uh, how many consumers have it. In Poland, for example, this is less than 4% at the moment, but uh, technology itself develops pretty fast. So uh, the ha- headsets which you can put on your on your face and get into virtual re- reality become uh, popular and also they become cheaper. So we can expect that uh, uh, this is going to be, you know, a popular um, a popular consumer technology uh, soon, and also, uh, and also, uh, I mean, more content is being developed. So uh, we investigated haptic feedback, meaning the, fi- the feeling of touch, uh, which is a relatively new addition to virtual reality. But uh, many studies which investigated uh, virtual reality so far pointed out at a quite interesting phenomenon that adding any new uh, simulation, I mean, if you stimulate something more than visuals, because virtual reality basically is just, you know, uh, influencing or it's in- impacting the visuals. Uh, it turns out that adding, for example, um, uh, sounds enhance the perception of the quality of in- how people found uh, this, uh, they found simulations uh, interesting. And uh, in general, uh, there is this uh, consensus that the the more senses are, I would say, how to say it's (laughs) nice. Involved, (laughs) involved, yes, during the reception of of this, uh, the better immersion, uh, the better uh, perception of how vivid and realistic it was. It was one interesting study which, uh, uh, which used, for example, not very good quality, uh, not extremely realistic um, uh, visuals, and uh, added just sounds. And it turned out that people who were exposed to this combination, they found it more 
uh, interesting, more as uh, more you know uh, pleasing. Uh, so uh, it turns out so there was the main the main you know, thesis of ba- the basic assumption we we made you know for the study that if you add additional additional sensory stimulation in this case touch the better results there will be and therefore uh, uh, there will be better uh, perception of the of the simulation itself and also the placement uh, of a product uh, in it. So that was the the basic uh, basic the reasons why we did it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Okay, so uh, you you also mentioned uh, the main um, aim of the study. So mm-hmm. it was to test uh, whether the presence of haptic feedback uh, mm-hmm. in this uh, context, virtual reality context, uh, impacts uh, noticeability of brand uh, placement. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, because you know, um, it was a very, in fact, quite quite simple setting. We simply placed the brand of bag, in fact, with the brand logo of uh, uh, of a uh, of a retailer and so we will, exactly we just want to test whether uh, um, allowing people to to feel you know uh, uh feel you know the touch uh, it, it, when immersed in the simulation will uh impact uh, noticeability of the brand uh, and also how people perceive the brand how they perceive the simulation itself and also fit between brand and the, and the simulation so well, there were some additional, you know, uh, objectives you wanted also to check whether consumer descriptors like gender or previous experience of virtual reality, and also the need for touch, because this is a feature which may differentiate people, differ, you know, with this, uh, you know, need, you know, to touch products before uh, deciding is going to, you know, uh, make any difference in this case. So this was, uh, this was it. Uh, in general, uh, there are many researchers about product placement in marketing literature, and this is, I think, very interesting to area of investigation. But still, we don't know much. Uh, uh, let's say specific uh, uh, specifics about the how product placement uh, impacts attitudes toward brands. This is still not very uh, very clear because still, uh, I think you know many. What you find in literature is often contradictory. The results of studies of the effect of placements, uh, for example, brand attitudes uh, are very mixed. Uh, they, of course, suggest that uh, the sensory modality, the repetition, and, for example, uh, how how intrusive uh, respondents perceive uh, um, perceive product placement, that this may influence the, the brand perception, the recall of, of the placement itself, uh, attitudes, and also in, in, in the intentions to buy. So, so this is it. It's still, uh, it's still very, I think, you know, uh, fresh area of investigation. Okay. Um, so, what, what, what research methods uh, did you use in your study? Was it uh, an experiment? We, yes, we use we use quasi experimental, uh, quasi experimental setting. Uh, we used uh, existing HTC v- Viva Pro VR goggles, um, and uh, this uh, one came with the. Uh, ex- Changed existing virtual reality simulation, uh, which was very, very like you know, I think cheerful. This was cutting vegetables and fruit in the kitchen, uh, on the kitchen top. It was adapted by us. We simply added uh, the the back with a logo type of a grocery store, a uh, very popular discount store, uh, and also uh, we had manual controllers. Those controllers that allowed holding objects uh, in the. In the simulation, the, the difference is that we, we the, that uh, uh, in fact you can hold objects in virtual reality most of those simulations, but you don't feel it. And those controllers allowed uh, this uh, provided haptic feedback. Uh, so uh, if uh, if a respond uh, participant of the study who was uh, equipped with uh, haptic feedback, he or she, you know, uh, picked up an object in simulation. There was a vibration which was providing arousal uh, of a feeling very similar to real activity. So in both cases, uh, I mean, so uh, you, you picked up fruit or vegetables from the back or a knife. And this is where when you had, you know, had the, uh, had the feeling that you are touching some things. So basically the participants were asked, you know, to put the goggles, get into simulation. They were cutting. The task was simple. They were picking up, you know, produce from the back. Uh, cutting uh, fruit and vegetables on the counter and they could place them in the bowl. So this was like assembling a salad. Uh, we had two variants. Uh, one was with the feedback and uh, one was without. Also, before entering the simulation, we asked participants whether they had any previous 
a virtual reality experience. We wanted to control for the media novelty factor because it turns out that if people are experiencing some uh, new medium uh, or technology, and medium especially, uh, for the first time, they usually provide much higher evaluations. So this is maybe this, they enchanted or maybe they, this is the war factor, which results in usually uh, higher evaluations or whatever is, uh, well, whether you evaluate the technology itself or, or advertisements or, or, or brand in, in, this, uh, in, in the, with new media. Well, of course, this, this appears quite, you know, uh, quite fast, very fleeting effect. Uh, with something which you call meta habituation. So the more you are exposed to a medium, then like virtual reality, the, the less excited you're going to be. So uh, probably this is what works here is just uh, affect transfer, which heightens the evaluations. So after, after uh, three minutes spent in uh, the simulation, uh, performing the task, the participants answer question, uh, uh, short questions on a very compact questionnaires, questionnaire regarding the placement of the brand, evaluation of the simulation, the brand, and also ask uh, uh, to evaluate how good was the fit between the simulation itself and the brand group being placed inside. Um, uh, so the, we had 63 participants with 23 males and 40 females. Uh, we randomly assigned them to those groups. Uh, one with feedback and another one without. So this was basically, this is how the meta data gathering looked like. Okay, so what did you find? So maybe, uh, uh, did anything surprise you? Well, we, there, there was some surprise because uh, uh, contrary to our assumption, turned out there was uh, differences where this, most of the cases, the difference was statistically insignificant. Uh, we found, for example, there was uh, no uh positive impact of the presence of the haptic feedback on noticeability of the brand in the simulation. Also, um, uh, we found out that uh, the differences between the groups uh, when uh, there were, of course, differences between the groups with simulation with and uh, without the uh, haptic feedback, we couldn't also differentiate them in regards to a need for touch. So it doesn't matter what the people uh, had a uh, high level of need uh, for touch or low. Uh, in both cases, uh, whether they were exposed to uh, uh, stimulation with haptic feedback or without, there was no difference when it comes to uh, how they uh, notice the brand. In fact, it was quite interesting, those uh, on more than 22% of participants with haptic feedback, they didn't notice any brand at all, but it was quite interesting because, you know, the back was just in front of them. And quite interesting, you know, some uh, 12% uh, did not even identify the, the brand properly. With the brand which we used in the, in the study was Lidl, and uh, some people wrongly attributed, attributed this uh, as IKEA. Uh, we assume that this is probably because the logo types are yellow and this, therefore they are <laughs> very similar. That was possible. The, the, well, we, we of course uh, we we try to. Um, it's just our hypothesis. Probably uh, the virtual reality with uh, and without haptic feedback, and especially with haptic feedback, uh, generated such high level of cognitive load. So maybe people simply they were concentrated on on the task themselves. And, uh, and they, they, they were so excited about the new technology. Yes, yes? yes exactly. Mm -hmm. New technology, emotions, and also you, you, you see all this, uh, the senses are, are so uh, involved. Uh, and therefore, even if you have something just in front uh, of them, they may not simply notice or notice something wrong. Uh, so this is the first, first thinking, first reflection comes to, to my mind, that maybe uh, too much is uh, not good in this case. Uh, so <laughs> probably, you know, overloading the senses in the simulation, maybe, uh, maybe, you know, um, well, maybe not, you know, the best choice. We found uh, one relationship that uh, in the group, which was exposed to Hadwig feedback, they evaluated uh, the simulation itself uh, better. So they found it more likable and interesting. So uh, I think this is a very important finding because, you know, uh, it if, if you want to get people into, into this medium, if you want them to enjoy themselves uh, and then use it for product placement. So this is, this is probably a very good idea because, you know, the more people will like and more they find, you know, the, the simulation uh, interesting, then this, is, this may have positive uh, impact as well. So also in, in this regard, 
the need for touch uh, didn't differentiate respondents um, so far. We found no support for the relationship between uh, the, the presence of haptic feedback and simulation and evaluation of the of the brand placement. So uh, you, you see, I think you know additional sense didn't didn't change you know uh, didn't change you know the attitude to towards uh, an evaluation whether the the brand was placed uh, correctly or not. Uh, so uh, also our study indicated that the presence of haptic feedback in the simulation uh, did not uh, impact uh, in positive way the perceived fit of placed brand with simulation. So, um, so, so this is a factor which is very often investigated in uh, different communication studies, especially with product placement. So uh, we found no relationship here. And of course, although in each dimension, uh, we found higher means for the group which was exposed for, uh, to have had the feedback, but uh, we didn't observe statistically significant differences between those two groups. So this is it. So this was probably the most, the most uh, surprising finding which, uh, which in fact contradicted our our assumptions uh, when it comes, you know, to adding extras to the stimulation of at the end. Also, uh, when it comes to consumer characteristics, so we found no statistically significant differences between uh, responses of women and men. Also, uh, whether consumers had had experiment uh, experiences with virtual reality. It also did not differentiate their responses when it comes to evaluation of simulation itself, the brand and the brand simulation feed. So, uh, so this is it. So, uh, in general, we sum up. We found that uh, the presence of haptic feedback did not significantly, statistically significantly, differentiate. You know, the respondents. So, uh, what uh, could you suggest uh, to marketing managers? I think you know. Uh, uh, well, of course, uh, our study was uh, was uh, had its limitations, but judging, you know, based on the the results which were uh, achieved, uh, I think uh, the most important is that uh, making simula- virtual re- reality simulation more attractive to users. For example, by adding uh, haptic feedback, you may have positive influence on the brand, which is pl- brand image placed through the halo effect. So this means that, that maybe tr- that the, the, you can. Uh, one can uh, expect the, 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 the affect transfer uh, this way. I think brands uh, or product placements in virtual reality, they are very attractive way to, to get the attention of con- consumers and it creates an uh, image of a modern brand. So I think this is going to be, uh, this may be a very good ch- solution for the, uh, for the younger groups of consumers. So this is it. Uh, they're much more accustomed to technology and, and this is something which they may find interesting. And also, uh, I think this may go very similar as with, with different games. Uh, it turns out that if you add, for example, advertisements or to a, a product placement to video games, the, I mean, this modern, very sophisticated, very immersive uh, games, uh, then people have very positive attitudes towards brands. Uh, and they found they, they find it, uh, for example, the very often, um, this is what the research indicates, that you, if you add, for example, advertisements to games like Grand Theft Auto, for example, then people find it more realistic and therefore more immersive and more interesting. So, And in general, um, uh, in the context of games, we see that uh, people have much better attitudes to advertising and different marketing, marketing activities in the game. So probably if... Uh, if there is a virtual reality simulation with uh, uh, with some with similar you know task oriented uh, say nature, uh, so we may see. Th- I can th- I think this is going to have very similar effects you know uh, from practical point of view. Thank you very much uh, for conversation. Thank you very much, Yolanda. Uh, you are listening to EMAC Regional 2021 Podcasts and my guest was uh, Dr. Marcin Avdzie, co-author of uh, paper under the title Influence of Haptic Feedback on the Perception of Product Placement in Virtual Reality Simulation. <laughs>